Hi guys, I'm Holly from Vetbill. Today we're reviewing the Jeep Free by Smock. <laughs> First of all, I want to say a massive sorry because I forgot to unload the. First of all, I want to say a massive sorry because I forgot to do the unboxing on video. <laughs> really sorry. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to E Sig Click, and you should also say a massive thank you as well because not only have they given me this one to review and give away, I'm not giving it away because I've got a brand new smock G proof free with a TFE 16 tank light, TFE 16 light tank. To give away as well. So a massive thank you to Easy Click. Do not forget to look in the description. You will find Easy Click link, and you will find a link to a written review, which goes in much more detail. And for the guy that messaged me the other day, saying we need more pictures, there is lots of pictures on there of the tank, of the fill, of the bottom replacing coil, everything. So bang over to Easy Click, guys, for the more in-depth review and the pictures. Let's get on with the specs and features. Mods 85 by 54 by 28. It also weighs 188 grams. The tank's 58 by 28 and it weighs 73 grams. <laughs> Resistance range of the mod is 0.1 ohm to 2.5 ohm. It's got a power range of 1 all the way up to 2. Point, no, not 2. Point, 230 watts. Output voltage of 0.5 to 8.2. Two, it's also got a charging current of 5 volts, 2 amps, BOOM! USB-C charger down at the bottom, and it also lays home to two eighteen six fifty batteries. As expected, e-liquid capacity of this bad boy is 5, unless you're in the UK, then it'll be about 2. Bad bet you can get a board for 5, so don't worry about it. The tank is also made of stainless steel, and glass, obviously, with a resin drip tip. Now prepare yourself for this, <coughs> features, 2.4 inch touchscreen, firing time of 0.001, that's 0.001 seconds firing time, it's also got balanced charging, which is decent, it means you can charge your batteries via the mod, never have to use a battery charger because it'll make sure it looks after them both equivalently, equally, and make sure it balance nicely, <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. It's got a passcode locking system. It's also got a screen, uh, touch screen lock system. It's also got a fire button lock system. So therefore you can just turn it so you can't touch the screen. You can turn it so the fire button won't fire. And you can also lock, change it so people can't faff about with your settings without you knowing. <laughs> Intelligent Automizer Recognition System. Puff Monitoring. 10 second cutoff protection, short circuit, overheat and low battery protection. Let's go with my favourite bit of review, it's where I talk about what I like. Let's go! Well guys, I'm going to keep this short and simple, it's great. Thanks for watching, see you next week. No, but seriously, it is great. The, see, I've always got a bit of reservation about Smok. There were a time where the quality of the coils dipped a little bit, people didn't like them as much. Now let's talk about coils first. The 2 ohm single coil which is in a conical shape, uh, designed for the airflow. That was great, I mean the flavour was intense. The dual coil I don't think was as flavourful or as vaporful, but it would be a, a downside to that is both the coils have the same watt range. I mean the dual is not point, no, no, the dual is 60 watt to 90 watt, the single is 60 watt to 85 watt. Kind of bummed me out a little bit. I'd like a bit more of a, even if it were 40 to 16, uh, 40 to 80. I'd, I'd just like a bit more range of variety. Uh, some more on the airflow, as we talk about the conical, conical, the bottom here is quite a bit bigger, as you might notice. And that's intentional. So, like I've said, basically, we don't just want to get airflow in and rush it out. We want the airflow to do what it's supposed to do. So, it gives you a raised bed for the airflow to feel less forced and do some nice fancy dancing, dangling and dancing and I don't know but that's what we've done and I think it worked, like I said the flavour from this thing is immense um, not saying that Smok would never were but I think Smok is back on form I love the TFE16 light
I think the screen is great. It's not too sensitive, it's not too unsensitive. You can press a pin, it'll still change the voltage. We'll see. What wattage, sorry, wattage. I put fire lock on. Bear with me one second. New. Unlocked. Right, there we go. So as you can see, oh wait, there you go. There you see, you don't actually have to touch bang on the button. You can touch just below or above. The menu button, let's have a quick flick through. You can change the theme. So any of these colors, you can also change the screen time. I preferred white, so let's go back to white. Home. There you go. What a jolly old ball we're down. Puff counter, which I've just reset. I haven't used one, 41 puffs. I think I own something like... 1,900 or something, but I reset it as well before in the week. So I don't know how many puffs I've done, probably two, three thousand. I don't know. Stop pressuring me, guys. Jeez. Unfortunately, I've never used the G Proof or the G Proof 2, so I can't quite tell you exactly how much better off or worse it is. Uh, I know the screen's a little bit bigger, 0.4 inch bigger. Um, it feels really good in the end. It's So yeah, I uh, I really like it. There's right, let, let, let's change it. There's nothing I don't like about it. There's a little nagly thing. The cable here goes under this battery. It starts the ribbon starts from between the batteries, so you can't really get it over one. I tried to put it under the that one, and it didn't. So now I need to rewrap the battery. Damn. I don't know what to say. If you, like I say, if you want the lowdowns, bang go to easy click. The link is in the description. Um. But it is a great device. Something else I really like about it, the battery pack is on the back rather than having a hinge door on the bottom. Because I always think hinge doors eventually break. They, it's not good. Um, but no, this, and I did drop it as well the other day from uh, a pub high table that got stools at it. Dropped. It didn't break. There's no scuffs. There's no, there's no nothing. It's quite perfect. Ingenious. It comes in four colours. There's a typical black and red. There's the silver, there's purple, black, gold, purple, and chrome. Here. Um, so there you go. I don't. I, I'm done. I haven't got anything more to say to you guys. I just love it. I love it a lot. The airflow's great. There you go. Um, a bit of air movement, and that's, that's the excuse. I'm just not feeling it today. Uh, sorry, we'll try again. Whoa. Um, sorry. Um, so yeah, it's awesome. Now, if you want to know how awesome it is, you got to do something. You've got to subscribe and you comment down below. And one of you lucky, lucky people will win An absolute spanking brand new black and red one. So that's all you gotta do, guys. Comment down below and make sure you subscribe. Uh, I would very much appreciate you sharing it. This is quite a big giveaway. Um, just do your thing. I need to tell you one last week's, so bear me one second. Jimbo. Jimbo Semi Customs. You, my friend, have won. The Ghoul RDA. Uh, you need to message me on Facebook or Instagram to talk about postage because I'm going to post that beast out to you, but obviously you have to pay for it. It's in the description, guys, on the terms and conditions. Uh, so, congr 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 <coughs> stop and start again. Congratulations, Jimbo. You won the Ghoul. Uh, like I said, message me, we'll talk about postage. And for everybody else, Please do comment because this is an amazing giveaway. It's not every day I give something away for free, uh, the brand new one away, sorry. Um, so don't miss out on your chance. Uh, please do share it. And there you go. First review of 2020, by the way, guys. Now, I have got an apology to make. I don't think, I might do, but I don't think I'm going to do a review next week. Uh, just because I've got far too much on, I'm doing uh, another review that... Uh, for the week after, I've already started that, but 
if I don't have some time off, because you guys kind of think you spend so many doing reviews, now I actually spend a full day doing the review, uh, especially the VC click ones, which I have to write a review, that takes like a full week. So it's massively time consuming. Uh, I'm working on that, but over the Christmas, uh, and like I said, I have a lot of personal stuff going on over Christmas, so I've got tons of stuff I need to catch up on and get sorted from my other businesses. So, chances are, I will definitely, definitely do a video for next Tuesday, and I'm thinking it might be a live video, first time I've ever done a live chat sort of video. So I might do that and goof around. Let me guys, ah, not let me guys, guys, let me know down in the comments what you think, because if no one calls for a live video, but I'm not going to do one, uh, at the same point, if you don't intend on uh, int uh, attending the live video, don't tell me to do one either because I don't want to be sat there on my own like a loner. That video will get uploaded and deleted. So, there you go, guys. Comment down below. Subs uh, make sure you subscribe. Share the video as well, please. Pretty, pretty, please. Damn, there's one more thing, and I can't quite remember what it is. Do you know what it is? Pretty sure you do. Don't forget, guys. Stay close!